Hey, Simon Rob here from Music Radar, and um, today we are joined by what are these called again? They are called uh, Fender Ultras. Fender Ultras. Fender Ultras. Ultras yeah. And they are replacing the outgoing Elites. Elites. Yeah. Um, which then got they superseded the Deluxe. Yeah, that's right. But we've still got in this range the Mexican Deluxe. Yes, yeah, the Mexican Deluxes, and they are with the Elite. Sorry, with the Ultras, yeah. they are now Fender's Advanced Range, which right. is kind of a uh, the pinnacle, the pinnacle. In some ways. This is this is, this is the top of the tree. Yeah, modern features. Yeah, um, these are U.S. made. Obviously, the um, the, the deluxes are Mexican made. So yeah. these are the yeah. the um, U.S. made advanced series. We've got four in the house. We the have, moment, and we there are, are loads more. We're spoiled. So there's two woods. Yep, uh, ash mm. and alder. Uh, this is an alder. As is um, this one. I'm gonna get this one out and put yep. my knee. And this is in ultra burst. Which right. is a four color sunburst. Yeah. But they've called it Ultra Burst. Why not? Why not? The it is series. Ultra. Yeah. Um, the Elites, uh, if anyone remembers, came in in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, so it's three years on. Uh, it's a bit of a refresh. Refresh time. Um, yeah. So there's a lot to talk about. There is so much. Now, we were, obviously, we're quite confused by just the name alone, but <laughs> we wait until we get to the S1 switching. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's mad. Um, well, let's talk about, first of all, yeah, let's talk about this one switch and let's dive into that particular <laughs> no, hellhole. No. So, right, okay, first of all, the strap. This is this is the completely refreshed switching. This is no this is this is where the brand new stuff. Yeah, happens. they they've simplified. Um S1 switching is if uh basically we we'll start at the beginning here. Start beginning, yeah, is yeah. uh it's a wiring mod where you can bring your pickups into series rather than parallel, so all on. Yeah. Um and with each model, it, the S1 switch, uh, switching affects them differently. Yeah. So yeah. it's different on the telly than on the on the strap. Yeah. Kind of obvious because it's got a five-way selector on the That's strap. It. Yeah. Um, so they've streamlined it with these ultras on on the strap. Um, it's I think it's called the seven mode. That's right. Um, that sounds right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so basically, uh, and I don't know if this was influenced by request to the custom shop that they might have taken on board. Right, gotcha. um, it was pretty complicated on the elites, I think, for some people. Mm. Uh, certainly for me. Um, not that I own an elite. I wish I did. Yeah, um, don't we all? <laughs> so it's uh, it's all to do with the neck pickup with the uh, series options. So, okay, so you've got your basic five-way selector. Yeah. Um, and here, you activate the S1 switching. It's in. So it's a nice little low key. Yeah. You wouldn't know it was there, would you? No, you wouldn't. Um, no need to pull a knob either. No. It's nice, nice little, nice push in. And pressing that switch brings in the neck pickup. Okay, so um, in, in bridge mode, you got bridge and neck. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then position two. Yes. Brings in. <laughs> let's not get confused now. Brings in all three. Is that Correct. Right? Yes. Yes. Position three, the middle position, brings in the middle and the neck. The neck. Yeah. So it gets confusing because you, yeah, it's really confusing. We, we are demoing all of these, so we're going to have some yeah. demos for all of this stuff. And we Just also need to talk about the pickups themselves. Because, yes, yes, this is, we, they're fairly different to your, your normal kind of uh, single coils. They are stacked single coils, yeah. and they are the ultra iteration of noiseless pickups. The elites had the uh, fourth generation noiseless pickups yeah. on, and. Um, and these are the Ultra Edition. I don't know if they're different or whether they've just renamed them. Um, well, so basically you get your kind of 60 cycle hum or 50 cycle hum, yeah. depending on when you are. Um, which is really annoying for single core players when they're using gain, as you'll know, you just turn it up with an amp and you'll get this annoying hum. Yeah. yeah. Um, these really effectively uh, deal with that. You still get, you know, you'll still get a bit of noise, but yeah. it's a lot cooler. Um, for cooler, but quieter. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's always it's designed to sort of keep the tonal qualities at all um, volume levels still, isn't it? That's, that's yeah. the kind of that's the, 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 they end are, of the game, isn't it? I think they are a bit different to, to single coils. These are vintage voice ones. Yeah. In both these, the humbucker um, strap, which we don't there, have. There here, isn't a humbucker tally no. option, but the the one with the humbucker in the bridge actually has hot uh, noises pickups in. Mm -hmm. Um, so they, yeah, to my ears, they're a bit, bit, you know, less, a bit more MIDI, I'd say. Right. Um, 
a little bit more more body to them. Yeah. Um, but still got that fender twang with the telly. Yeah. Still got yeah. that that spank with the yeah with the strap or everything you want. Um, I really like them. Um, and we're saying the S one, we're, we're quite fans of the the switching. We actually prefer it, yeah. don't we? You know, yeah. On deployed. The, I'm. I haven't got a strap. I'm not. Not really You're a telly man. man. Yeah, yeah, I love tellies. I've, I've Which is why I'm holding it. it. Yeah. So, you, so you don't drool over it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it's cool. It, it brings in, you know, bringing in the neck, brings more body in, as I said. Um, yeah. Takes a little bit of, you know, takes the high end off a bit. Yeah. Just mellows yeah. the strut out a bit, um, which which you'll hear mm -hmm. um, yeah. in, when, when we demo them. Um, so that's that's cool. Uh, it's a little bit of a different take on on a Strat sound. A uh, lot more variety. I mean, the Strat's a very versatile instrument as it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it um, is. So it's cool. But there's um, there's a lot more going on here, um, which we'll get to with features. Yeah, a little well, touches. But we should talk about the S1 switching on the telly now. On the telly. So which is different again. I'm gonna roll it. That um, so in the face. telly three position. Yeah. Um, bridge. Is bridge, and then obviously two bridge and neck are parallel, neck neck. So now switch it, in. Yeah, it's 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 in this mid position that it's really going on for the yeah. for the telly because um, it brings in both pickups, and it acts like a bit of like a boost in a lot of ways. It does. It, it does. Yeah, like yeah. more of everything as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, so it's a very simple setup on the telly compared to the strap. It's, not, it's, it's on this one, if, yeah, like you say, more simple. It feels like more like the magic switch, isn't it? You go yeah, bang, straight in. More. It's, it's more than <laughs> a more yeah, switch. I want more. Yeah. I want more. Yeah. It's cool. Um, the telly is, I mean, look at that. That's, this uh, is this, Texas T. Texas is cool. I love that. Texas T. Get a bit of that. Yeah. On the close ups, when we've polished it up, we'll get some close ups. Yeah. It looks black from. Over there, yeah, but that looks gorgeous. In the light, so, yeah, front. it's what it's like a charcoal y, yeah, it's a bit it's like a... the charcoal um finish on the modern players, but, yeah, it's got but that less nice little golden, translucent, yeah, golden sparkle deep in there, yeah. On the elites, it was a mystic black, which I always wanted because I bound tellies. I mean, who doesn't like a yeah, bound telly? Lovely, um, they come with a satin sort of brushed aluminium, yeah. This, the, the, the aluminium option mm. is finish dependent so it's only on this finish you can get it yeah and i think it's like a, a bronze or a gold on one of the straps as well okay yeah um yeah so it goes with the chrome quite well it's not sort of two two sort of metallic finishes yeah. that i think go together but they actually goes really well yeah i and like I, this is the one i like because it's quite it looks there, quite cutting like, edge doesn't it it, it looks, does um it looks ultra as they say yeah on the back there with all that and that's an press. ultra satin finish on that neck it's lovely with rounded the rounded People, you know, it sounds like a bit of a gimmick, doesn't it? Oh, rounded fingerboard edges, but yeah. they make such a difference. They do. It makes you just feel at home straight away. Yeah. yeah. The Strat's got the um, the soft uh, knobs, which seem like seem unimportant, but actually, when you're yeah. on stage and you've got sweaty hands, sweaty they hands, really give they you that work. extra yeah. grip. Um, it's like yeah, no, that is that that does help a lot. There is a, a fundamental difference is the necks on these. Um, the elites were a C to D profile. Right. Um, so they were kind of like a subtle, subtle change, change as you went yeah. along. Yeah. These are a modern D. Okay, now, straight up. Yeah, they yeah. don't really feel like a, a kind of deep D to me or a shallow, you know, they, they they feel like a shallower than you'd expect from a D. Right. Uh, they're comfortable. Yeah. No, um, yeah. And the the compound radius on the elites, and they'll give me the, let me get this right, was 9.5 to 14 inches. The Are you reading that? Are you remembering it? Not inches. Um, uh, That's amazing. No, I'm remembering it. That's very uh, good. These are 10 to 14. Okay, right. Uh, so slightly different. Yeah. Um, the idea is they get, you know, flatter as you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they just feel quite comfortable to me. They are, you know, they're not as rounded as some no. Fender fingerboards, but... They do. I it feels really comfortable. Really, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about what they've what they've taken away from the back. So on the, there's been a lot of carving going on. on yeah. The back this of is similar. It? This is like the elites. Um, yeah. It's pretty dramatic on the telly. Um, it's big, big, big. Yeah. Here. Huge. So you've got there. this um, neck here area here. Yeah. Which is is curved around, and the you know it's to give, obviously better access to the to the, to the dusty end. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely in my case. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, 
and it's great. It's just you don't even think about it. It's just no. like wow, I've suddenly got. It's a, it's a really cool um, solution. Yeah, uh, you don't notice it there until you actually pick up an old one. So obviously, yeah. Let's go for a comparison. We got an old. An oh old well, one. better better to compare the straps. The straps. We haven't yeah. got a I'm afraid. No. Sorry. But we've got an old strap there. Yeah. So we'll ignore. So look, massive hole, and it and it you don't notice it until you're actually up there, and you've got. Oh, yeah. Man, so you've got this area. Yeah. Gone. Um, that's about the same, it's isn't about it? Same. Yeah. But on the telly, like, dramatically I mean, different. And there's a nice, there's a scoop here as well, isn't there? Yeah. That bit off. So yeah, nice, cool. nice chamferings yeah. going I, on. I really like oh. it on the telly, um, yeah. removing that mask. It's on the back of the telly, yeah. obviously, you know, telly's like a... Big slab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you've got they, a lot of contour in here that yeah. isn't, no, it does. isn't you, you don't usually get. Um, it and it's really cool. It brings a good, it seems subtle, but it brings the guitar into your body a bit more. It's mm -hmm. like a psychological thing. Yeah. Um, and it feels like it's a bit more intimate. I think if you can be intimate with a guitar, well, well, you well, should be, shouldn't you? We are. We're always intimate yeah. with guitars. Yeah. Some more than others. <laughs> um, okay, Rob. S1 switching. We're gonna have a little listen, aren't we? Um, yeah. So let's start with the telly. Start with the telly. Um, go through the basic sounds of the of the pickups before yeah. moving on to the S1 switching option on that middle right. position. Let's do that. Show the differences. Cool. <laughs> Um, I think it's a really uh, versatile telly. I yeah. mean, all tellies you could say are pretty versatile, but it doesn't have that kind of thin, you know, t really twangy thin sound on the bridge that I think some can have. It's a little yeah. bit more of a contemporary, a bit more full yeah. body for gain. Yeah, and more um, yeah. yeah, and I, I, I have a telly with a with a humbucker in the neck yeah. and a single coil in the bridge, so I use the mid position a lot. Yeah, but. I was thinking, well, I don't know if I'd use the mid position a lot on a two, yeah. but I would use this mid position a lot, and with especially being able to bring in the old, yeah, give me the beans. Yeah, um, really cool mid position. Yeah, in, it's good. Um, so it's, it's got that twang, but it's it's got some real muscle yeah. and, and low end behind it as well. So, so well, that was the simple one. Chuck us that. I'm gonna yeah, give, I'm going to give you the more the strat. Yeah, so we'll. I Man, think this is going to be quite well, after doing it. Yeah, we can't cover. Well, we can cover everything. We'll be here all day. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll we'll go through 
some variations with the strap, bringing yeah. in that neck pickup, bringing yeah. it out to give you a kind of AB yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of comparison. It might get you to do some switching do some as well, bashing. so we don't have to keep stopping. Yeah. And um, play some chords rather yeah. than just go f loads of blues lead bobbins so that doesn't really tell you a lot. Uh, play some chords, play yeah. a little bit of lead. Uh, it's just give you that overview that of flavor. the tonality. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. do it. Cool. So Rob, your thoughts? I like it a lot. Yeah. I know I sound, I sound like I like everything here, but I... I well, if there's stuff I to like, like you've got to like it. Yeah. I like the way the S1 switching gives you that extra dimension to a strap yeah, that yeah. I didn't know you could have. Albeit um, very confusing, once you get your head around yeah, it. Yeah, once you get your head around it, the, yeah. you, you, you're dealing with the first three, three. positions yeah, yeah, because yeah. obviously you're bringing in the, the neck anyway on the others. Yeah. Um, it's, it's cool, it kind of takes off a... It takes off a bit of that spank a little, it does, you know, it? Yeah. but it's a nice mellow sound. Mm. I mean, it's, if you you can, you can get a vast array of sounds through the volume and the tone control. And by the way, this volume is a treble bleed as well, so it's it, you're not losing as much high end when you wind right, down yeah. wind yeah. down gain. Some people don't want to touch those controls, and that's mm. fair enough. Um, and this gives you even more options to to just give an instant sound yeah. difference, either mid song. Mm -hmm. Well, you might decide that that these are a go-to settings for you, having that having on a lot. I mean, I, I really liked it on, on the bridge, yeah. um, which I find a bit much. I think both of these, track. I think both of these with on, they're just, it just proves that, yeah. that, that circuitry is yeah, it's blimmin' it's, good. 
I'm not a huge fan of a of a strap bridge. Yeah, fair, um, enough, fair enough. It's lovely. It's great sound. But yeah. It's just not not for you. Yeah, but with with that neck brought in, it it really gives it a little bit bit more of that darker kind of yeah. low end that I really and like. And it's made an already versatile guitar even more versatile. Yeah. With yeah. more so tone options. So these these guitars are an investment, but you're you're getting a lot of tone. Yeah. And and a lot of cool mm -hmm. um, uh, up to date features. Yeah. Um, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. All right. Um, there's one last thing to talk about, isn't there? Yeah. That's I feel the... like I should be holding the others as well. Right, Do you want to hold that, that one? I'll hold that one. Right. This is on, the, give us the other uh, ones a bit of a love. Plasma Red Burst. Um, plasma which, red and burst. it's interesting. This is, this is Ash body. Yeah. Um, that's Alder. Um, this is noticeably heavier than that one, I would say. I'd say it's way heavier. That's though, very light for a strap, I think. I think this that, one is loads lighter. Yeah. Than, yeah. I think that one is about seven and a half, seven point six yeah. pounds. Um, I haven't weighed this one yet, but um, it, which is, seems it's quite light for a strat. It's not like feather light, but it's notice. It feels light, doesn't yeah, it? it does yeah, feel light. And this feels about normal for a strat. You know, yeah. not not too heavy. No. Um, but obviously, guitars depend. You know, on wood, and these are kind of a darker maple as well to give them a bit more of a vintage vibe. So it's quite a cool. Yeah, um, yeah. they're kind of been stained. The, the maple necks, but yeah. it's kind of like a cool um, balance on some of these bet between contemporary and and a vintage. Sort yeah, of and feels. classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. The, the Telly's like the extreme example that is the extreme of the most modern it? looking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bit John Five vibe going on there. Yeah, it does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, and yeah. and here we've got the butterscotch blonde, um, God, swap, which is again an ash body. Oh, it's getting. Oh. Hey! You have um, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juggle. Uh, so yeah, that's it's got you know the black binding. Yeah, quite a very different vibe to the other telly, isn't it? It's it is a lot more like of a, of a traditional yeah kind of look. Um, and yeah, all these guitars have the locking Lock tuners, tuners like the elites. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, well, I was gonna say the bottom line, they're a bit more expensive. They are a bit more expensive. Um, the cheat sheet, these are. A, uh, 1,859, the Jazz Master's a bit more. Yeah. More towards uh, 19, I think. Yeah. Um, and the Elites were 1,700. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, times change. Times change. Things inflate. Money. Money's more. Yeah. So a little Wages bit more. Are less. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. Um, but we like. We do yeah. like. I'm loving the necks. Very the nice. Necks. Yeah. The necks are really nice. They, they feel like... like the yeah. kind of fender that, that I would aspire to aim because I'm not like a vintage freak. Um, right, I know what you mean. Just a freak. Mean. Um, <laughs> yeah. That that telly, like, oh, you know, it it's feels the, special. It does. It feels like a guitar that I would one day want to own. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not not worthy of it yet. Um, You're getting there, but definitely, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, we're digging those. So thanks, Rob. Thanks for that. I think yeah. I think we've got everything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Our cheat sheets, like long um i think we've covered it all i think so yeah uh there's probably a couple of little justice. things we've missed um <sighs> we bound to bound to yeah. in our old age but yeah you need you need to hear them really you do need um, to hear them so well i think that's enough for us isn't it yeah i think so so uh, be sure to like subscribe comment and share wherever you've seen this video right now and do check out musicradar.com for all the latest news reviews and tutorials we'll see you soon